Thank you for visiting Split Test Dynamo. In this video, we're going to cover conducting a split test on the content section of your site. When you visit Split Test Dynamo and you go to the Content tab, you'll see any split test that you have running on the content section of your site. Now, we split it out into two categories. We split we have a post section and a page section. We currently don't have any test running down there. So if we look here at this particular section up here, you can see for post, here's a sample. This is just for illustration purposes here. We have on this particular post, we're running a split test. We're currently showing both versions. See the both here? If we only wanted to show A, we could click A and it would only show A. Or B and it would only show B. I'll go ahead and say show both. We show the number of hits or visits to version A, and the number of orders or what I like to consider successes for version A, and then what the percentage is, and then the same thing for B. Now if you come across here, you'll see that you can also reset the stats. So if you accumulate data for A and then you make some changes, you can come click here and reset the, the stats. And then you can also see some more detailed historical perspective of the of the campaign that you're conducting. So when you look through here and you're conducting a content split, it's very easy to set up and it's also you can come to this one section and get a good cross reference of everything that's taking place. If you click through to the individual post, you can see the the test that you're running and you can see on this one right here, here's the URL, here's version A, version B. Make sure when you're editing that you're on the version that you that you want. I, I've made that mistake before where it was on version A and I edited and I really meant to be editing version B. So make sure you uh, make that correction or that change when you're set up. The other part of it is, is down here at the bottom, it's much the same as what you saw on the previous page but it's just summarized for you on this one post right below it and it's just for this one post. Now a couple of things. You see how we have this tracking code? These orders right here are, like I said, what I consider successes. Those could be for anything. Maybe you're calculating the number of people that you're getting to opt in. So you would, in essence, it wouldn't really be an order. It would be a successful opt-in. Or maybe you are collecting orders, so it would be a successful order. But maybe you're also just trying to get someone to visit a particular page. Well, you could actually do that through this you insert the code on that page and that would count as a success. So you can do like we've talked about before, come through here and it'll it'll populate the pages for you to pick from. If if I was collecting a subscriber, obviously this is where I would set up for thank you for subscribing. But you can pick anything. Now if you want to go and track on another site, you can give that code to that other site and it will track it as a success for that version. The search engines always see version A if we can tell it's a search engine. If a visitor comes to your site and you direct them to version A, they will always see version A as long as they come to your site until you, because of the cookie, until you select a version and lock in that version. If someone always sees, if someone came to version B, they would always see version B. It's very easy, very simple. There's not a lot to it. You really, if you want to conduct a split test, all you do is you go into the individual post and then at the very bottom, at the bottom of the post, let me scroll down here at the bottom of the post where this box is now there'll be a, a little button right here that says conduct or it'll say split test or turn on split test I can't remember the exact words but you just click on that button and it launches this whole section for you and at the same time it adds the split test uh, uh, options version A and version B at the top that's it it's super simple it's really easy to do anybody can do it that's what that's the power of this thing is allowing anybody to conduct split test super simple without having to get in and touch code and mess around with uh, the actual structure of their site. It's really easy. So uh, that is it. Thank you for visiting Split Test Dynamo and I hope you enjoyed this video.